What's going on YouTube? Thanks for tuning in on another episode of uh, Bustin' Cards. Um, on one of our previous episodes, you saw my dad open up a hobby box of uh, 2018 Absolute, uh, which you can see some of the pulls that he has back here. Um, we had a, a Michael Gallup, which has uh, uh, three pieces of memorabilia on it, as well as a signature. And then we have a nice Jordan Howard um, triple color patch as well as the football a um, couple of nice hits or a few other hits out of that pack uh, out of that box but um today it's my turn um and looking forward to this this is my first hobby box that i've gotten into um used to collect a, a lot more uh you know when i was a little bit younger dad and i collected quite a bit but we fell out of it and we're just now getting back into it and this is like i said my first hobby box and i'm really looking forward to this uh, so what we have today is a, is a hobby box of 2017, unparalleled. Um, went to the store, was looking for you know something to kind of get into, and, and saw this. It caught my eye. I've seen a couple of videos online of uh, you know people pulling some decent stuff out of it, and I honestly I, I like all the different parallels and the different types of cards they have here. Um, so I was looking forward to it, and and we got uh, two autographs and one memorabilia card per box on average. Um, obviously, you know, that's on average, so it could have more, could have less, but on average, we're going to hit, have, uh, three hits here, which I came prepared for here in the back. Um, we got eight packs, uh, per box and eight cards per pack. So we got a total of 64 cards here and I'm looking forward to getting into this. So we're just going to bust right into it. figure out how you open this box here now on the back of this we have um, it actually shows the breakdown of all of the different cards that you're able to get all the different parallels and, and how many of each one there is so kind of a cool reference for uh, for all these packs that we're about to open uh, but here we go so we got four cards on each side not gonna take the time to kind of mix them up and I'm just gonna open them up in the order that they come uh, I do believe that we can uh, expect, you know, a few hits, but there's also going to be some filler cards, so no point in trying to guess which ones are which. Uh, but we're going to get into this first pack here. <clears throat> Not quite sure what the order is for these, so we're just going to kind of go through them one by one rather than trying to do any kind of card trick or anything like that. But we have, first up is a uh, Matt Paredes. Um, don't think that there's any kind of uh, number on that. It's, the one thing I do like about these cards is you'll see up here in the top right, it actually says what kind of card it is. So this is the Mega Moon Lava, and that actually has to do with the kind of um, background that you see on this card. You'll see, you know, this, the, the pattern coming down in this kind of uh, diagonal kind of angle. Each, each one of these cards will have a different kind of background, and they actually tell you which one it is on the top. So, kind of nice uh, little feature of the card. And it looks like we have our first hit of the of the box here. And an Isaiah Ford, numbered to 149. We got a nice auto, um, uh, rookie auto here. So, not really sure who this guy is. Haven't heard a lot about him, but, you know, here's hoping that he has a good season getting ready to kick off here in a few days. Um, so we'll see what happens if he does anything. We'll go ahead and put that here in the back. Getting into the, the rest of the pack here, we got a Cam Newton. And that is not numbered. But uh, moving on, we got a Michael Thomas, rookie card. Terrell Suggs. That's a monster. And that is actually numbered to 99, 58 out of 99, future frame. So that's a nice little hit right there. Um, but you'll see, like I said before, we got the future frames. So that's got to do with this uh, the background that you see with these kind of squares all over the place. So again, this is kind of why it, what, what drew me to the unparalleled and kind of why I wanted to open this box and probably look into the 2018 as well. 
moving on, we have a, an Odell Beckham Jr. Zoned in insert. And that is actually numbered as well to 199. Uh, so nice little numbered car there. We have a Tease Tabor and a Derek Barnett. So not bad for the first pack, and that's also numbered there for 499. So in that first pack, we got three numbered cards, and we got our first hit of the box with the uh, Isaiah Ford Auto. So pretty solid first pack. Moving on, maybe, there we go, first up we have uh, Abraham Campbell, Jason Kels, Derek Wolf, that is a wind chimes. Uh, we got a Matt Stafford, Andre Hall, and that's a rookie card. This might be numbered, and it is, and that is going to be numbered to 199. It's a nice little numbered card there. Good looking cards, man. Good looking cards. Then we have, um, we have per perfect pairs. We have a Cam Chancellor and an Earl Thomas III. So that's a good looking card. We've got two, two solid defensive players over at the Seahawks. Um, you know, they took a little bit of a hit this year losing Richard Sherman, but, you know, being 49er fans, we're, uh, we're not mad about that here. So, uh, but good looking card nonetheless. Moving on, we have a Gerard Davis and. Uh, Hassan Reddick. I'm uh, not sure if that's the right way to pronounce his name, but we're going to go with it. Um, got a rookie out of uh, uh, over in, at Arizona. So, again, not somebody I've heard much of, but with the season getting ready to start, hopefully we'll start hearing from some of these guys soon. Moving on to the third pack here. Let's see what we got. We got a Joe Thune. Uh-oh, we got a, looks like a autograph card here. Number to 99, TJ Watt. Let's see what we got. That's a good-looking card. TJ Watt, um, supposed to have some pretty good things coming from him this year. So we'll see, but that's a solid hit for, uh, you know, early on in this box. What, three packs in? We already got our two autos. And, uh, you know, like I said, this one's numbered to 99. Good-looking stuff. Moving on here, we got a Damon Harrison rookie card, not numbered on that one. A Mike Wallace, I think that's the wind chimes, I don't think those are numbered, no. Uh, Andre Hall, we got a Star Factor, Steve Young, so that's a good looking card, man, I'll tell you, we... Um, we're longtime 49er fans. I was kind of born into it. My dad, uh, you know, from the time he started watching football as a kid, was always a, a Joe Montana fan. And, you know, I, of course, I love Joe Montana. But when I was coming up as a kid, Steve Young had kind of taken the reins. And that's when, um, you know, I really started getting into football. So Steve's got a special place in my heart. But I uh, love this card. Love, uh, love Steve. Moving on, though, we got a... Uh, I, don't, I don't even know how to say this name. You guys can tell me, uh, tell me how to pronounce that. I'm not even going to try. Uh, but 60th overall draft pick for the, for the Cowboys. Uh, not numbered. But moving on, we got a Deshaun Hall um, rookie card. And that is going to be numbered to 499. Moving on to our fourth pack here. Getting to the halfway point of the box. I'm going to say we're probably going to get a filler card here soon. But we uh, starting off, we got Jack Doyle. I actually got this guy on my fantasy team this year. So hoping we see some big things out of him coming back with Andrew Luck, uh, you know, at the head of the team again. So hopefully we see big things out of him. But we, uh, we'll we see how Mr. Luck does. Uh, we got Will Tukoafu, a uh, rookie card here. Um, and that is not numbered. 
Looks like we got a he's a fullback in uh, in Seattle, so we'll see what, what happens with him. And as suspected, we got our first filler card here. Um, we got uh, Tevin Coleman. He had a, a pretty good game the other night uh, against um, the Philadelphia Eagles, even though they, they ended up losing. Looking to see big things out of him this year. I think he'll do pretty well. Uh, we got uh, Alex Smith uh, still in his Kansas City uniform. That's interesting. Um, but, you know, Alex, being a 49er fan, uh, we really enjoyed having him on the team and was sad to see him go. But, you know, I think uh, I think he's still got a lot of career left in him. We got a Trey Turner rookie. We have a zoned in Julio Jones. Julio had a big game last night. Um, you know, solid performance. This looks like this card he's got uh, in week four of 2016, 12 receptions for 300 yards. That's crazy. Nice card though. Uh, we have a uh, Marshawn Lattimore. And a Duke Riley. Moving on to pack number five here. Let's see what we get. We're still looking for, I think, uh, at least one memorabilia card. Uh, obviously, you know, you have the chance of getting more than that, but we got at least one hit left. We got a Hunter Henry, Matty Ice, Darren Lee. Andrew Sendejo, rookie card. Got a Melvin Gordon. We got perfect pairs, Robert Quinn and Aaron Donald. Not numbered there. We got a Charles Harris. Then a Gerald Everett. And I believe this is going to be numbered to, yep, numbered to 499. Moving on, this is pack number six. Let's see what we get. We got a Patrick DeMarco, Odell Beckham Jr., T.Y. Hilton, Kirk Cousins, Clay Matthews. I think this is going to be a numbered card as well. And that is numbered to 199. The Diamond Awe. It's a good looking card. We got a star factor of Peyton Manning uh, with the Indianapolis Colts. We got a Chris Carson. And lastly, we got a TJ Watt. So here you can see the difference uh, between the different parallels of the cards. This is the base set card, and this is the uh, the parallel. And what was this one called? Uh, the Rainbow Spokes. So just kind of highlighting what the uh, the difference in the cards are in these different parallels. There's obviously a ton of different parallels in this set, um, which I do really like. Moving on to pack number seven here. We have a Travis Kels. Ooh, we got another hit here. Uh, we have a D, uh, OJ Howard. That is numbered to 199. Let's turn this over and see what we got. Big, huge patch here of OJ Howard uh, with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Single colors, so not the greatest, but you know, hey, it's a, it's a hit. And it's out of 199, so it's fairly low numbered. Uh, I'll take it. We'll set that over here. Uh, moving on, we have a David Johnson. We have a Brandon Cooks. Miles Jack. Stefan Diggs. Zoned in. Jordan Leggett. Montravius Adams, and this is going to be numbered to 199. So not bad. So we have our three hits, but we got one pack to go. Maybe we'll get lucky and pull something else. I got a feeling we'll probably get another filler, but nonetheless, it's been a solid box. Very happy with this so far. 
All right, getting into this, we have a Joe Flacco base card. John Kuhn. And there's our filler. We got a, another Clay Matthews. And I don't know that this one is numbered. Nope. So again, just kind of highlighting the different uh, different parallels here. You can see it's the same card, just different background, uh, which gives it a really nice effect. We have Jamie Collins. Brian Poole, rookie. We have a Jordan Howard. That's not numbered. Dwayne Smoot, and then a Derek Rivers, and I think this one's going to be numbered out of 149. So, do a little recap here. We got quite a few numbered cards, uh, which is really, really awesome, uh, these short print cards here. So we have a Terrell Suggs, and that was, again, numbered out of 99. We have our Montrevious Adams, Derek Rivers, Clay Matthews, Gerald Everett, Deshaun Hall, Andre Hall, Derek Barnett, and Zoned In Odell Beckham Jr., all of which were numbered. Um, then we have our, our actual hits. We have our Isaiah Ford, our TJ Watt. And our O.J. Howard patch card. Let me get these in the frame for you. So I'll tell you, that does it for the box. Um, again, I'm, I'm very happy with this product. I think it's definitely one that I want to continue with, try to collect out the, the full set. Um, obviously, with there being this many parallels in the, each individual set, it's going to be difficult to... You know, figure out exactly how I want to how I want to collect this set, but I I really enjoy this um, and probably look to to get into the 2018 stuff too. So, uh, if you like this video though, um, you know, subscribe to us. We're we're going to be doing these quite often. Uh, as I mentioned, you know, the previous video, my dad was uh, was the one opening up the cards. We're probably going to have a uh, a few of us here in the family. Um, this is a family affair. I got myself as well as my little sister will probably be opening packs on the uh, on the channel as well. You may have already seen her in a couple videos. But um, again, if you like these and want to see more, um, stick around, subscribe, hit the like button, and let us know what you want to see next.